Hi, my name is Mike Kennedy. I've spent the last 15 years working and recruiting for some of the biggest corporate employers in the UK. And in this short video, I will, uh, I will share with you five top tips for numerical reasoning test success. Okay, so tip number one, practice before the day. You'll have heard me mention this in some of, the other, in some of my other videos. Um, practicing before your assessment day or your assessment center, uh, practicing before the event will just make a huge difference to your chances of success on the day itself. Not only will you become more uh, comfortable with the sort of format of the test and the structure of the test, but you will also um, you will uh, you will you'll be less uh, you'll be less put off by the timed element, and uh, and just being comfortable with the overall format just makes a huge huge difference. Not only do you know what to expect, but you will also just be more relaxed and more comfortable. And that's an environment when uh, you're much more likely to succeed. So that's tip number one, practice before the day itself. Okay. Tip number two, um, make sure you fully understand the data. So uh, the uh, numerical reasoning test are laid out very similar to verbal reasoning test in that you're presented with some information and then you're asked to um, answer qu uh, questions on that data. Um, only one of the answers, it's a multiple choice, and only one of the answers that you're shown is uh, is correct. So, the key with the the key here is understanding that data before you go on to answer the questions, but also uh, focusing on, only on the sort of data. Um, lots of the information, probably about eighty percent of the information that's on there, uh, you can disregard for certainly for for most of the questions. Um, and on each question, a big part of what, what's being measured in a numerical reasoning test is your data selection skills. It's your ability to um, look at a, a ton of data and quickly pump, pinpoint the, the parts that you need. So, um, so that is a top tip number, number two is uh, fully understand that data and focus only on the sort data. Again, practicing will help you um, be able to do that so uh, tip number one will help you actually put tip number two into practice okay uh, tip number three stay calm um, again this is easier said than done I know but it's very very important if you can uh, if you can stay calm there's a much better chance of you uh, being successful because you'll be uh, you, you'll be less distracted by the, the fact that you have a timer ticking down on the exercise and also it will uh, it will allow you to continue to think logically if you're feeling nervous if you're feeling anxious that will inhibit your ability to think clearly so it's really really important that you stay calm again over on the site uh, we have guides there that will help you um, deal with interview nerves and anxiety um, techniques that you can use before the day itself to um, to stay calm but also um, to, to prepare for, for the day but also uh, sort of emergency measures that you can use on the day if you feel that you're starting to um, to get really really anxious or, or nervous okay so um, tip number four <coughs> if if possible use your own calculator um, and that may sound like a, a petty sort of point to make uh, but if possible you want to use your own calculator particularly ideally you know a scientific calculator with the uh, macro functions and the ability to you know to, to have to use formulas if you've got a, a calculator that you've maybe used at university or maybe you use it in your job day to day um, use that because remember uh, numerical reasoning tests are timed you're being measured against the other candidates so every second really does count so um, you want to use every advantage you possibly can so that's tip number four use your own calculator if uh, if you don't have one that you're particularly um, fond of or have used before or are comfortable with just buy um, buy one that you know it's got a nice clear display and nice big buttons um, so it's just very very simple and easy to use on the day okay tip number five manage your time carefully this is really important in all psychometric tests um, you, it's it, it's really important that you can scan ahead see how many questions you've got to answer that will help you allocate and sort of partition the time that's available to you in the most appropriate way so um, you know scan ahead see how many questions you have to answer understand the timings of the exercise that you've been given 20 minutes 30 minutes 40 minutes you know it can vary in numerical reasoning tests but if you understand the time that you've got and you understand how many questions you've got to do then you can very quickly do some um, men mental maths and work out how much time you have for each question 
usually in numerical reasoning tests you'll have about 90 seconds for each question usually so um, if you get really stuck on on one question just just move on you know in the time it takes you to work out that one particular uh, question you could have continued to answer you know three or four others uh, correctly so um, so if there's something that's really got you stumped um, nine times out of ten the best thing to do is to just move on okay um, I hope they've been helpful those those five tips um, please understand that over on the site uh, we've got a full guide on numerical reasoning uh, if you head to assessmentcenterhq.com slash nrt for numerical reasoning test uh, assessmentcenterhq.com slash nrt uh, that will take you to our full uh, numerical reasoning test guide um, there's more tips there um, there are some examples of numerical reasoning tests and also there are two free uh, practice tests that you can take there that will be a huge huge help to you on the day itself okay so i uh, hope you've enjoyed this video uh, head over to assessmentcenterhq.com for everything that you need to prepare for your assessment day or interview cheers